I'm Mariana. In this video, you'll learn about campaign benchmarking in MailChimp so you can better understand what's working and what you may need to improve when it comes to your email marketing. Before we get into the specifics about campaign benchmarking, let's first talk terminology. A benchmark is an industry standard you can use to compare your business to others like it. In MailChimp, the campaign benchmarking feature uses advanced data science to compare your email performance with that of your peers. Hundreds of millions of emails are sent in MailChimp every day and are analyzed to determine the average open rate, click rate, and unsubscribes. This data is then used to develop personalized benchmarks for users who share certain industry and audience characteristics. For example, a user who has an audience of 2,000 contacts who are over the age of 35. Now that we've covered the basics, let's take a closer look at campaign benchmarking. To access campaign benchmarking, I'll first want to view a report for an individual email campaign. So I'll click the campaigns icon and click reports. Since I have more than one audience, I'll select the one associated with the campaign I wish to view. Next, I'll scroll down to my most recent email campaign and click view report. This will take me to the overview page where I can see a lot of useful information such as the order revenue for the store that's connected to my account and the top URLs that were clicked from my campaign. I'm going to scroll down a little further to the campaign benchmarking section. MailChimp looks at three characteristics to set your benchmarks, industry, audience demographics, and audience size. Industry is determined by your business type, which is either self-selected in your account defaults or predicted based on your campaign content. If I ever want to change the industry, I'll navigate to my account settings and in the drop down, I'll click details. In the Help Us Improve Your Stats section, I'll click the Your Industry dropdown, choose my industry from the list, and click Save. The next characteristic that is used to set benchmarks is audience demographics. This is the overall gender and age range of the audience associated with your email campaign. It's based on the same data MailChimp uses to generate predicted demographics. To learn more about predicted demographics, check out our guides and tutorials. Lastly, the audience size is the total number of subscribed, non-subscribed and unsubscribed contacting the audience associated with your campaign. These three characteristics shared by you and your peers feed into the benchmarking report, which you'll find in your campaign report after you send your email and begin to collect engagement data. Back in my benchmarking report, I see a bar graph that shows how my current email campaign measures against my average email campaign, as well as the average campaign of my peers. I can also click the open rate click rate and unsubscribes tabs to switch between different types of data. And if I come here to the bottom of my benchmarking report, I'll see a success message that lets me know that my campaign is performing well. Awesome. But you may also see a recommendation on how to improve your campaign performance. This varies depending on your open, click and unsubscribe rates. And that's it. You've learned about campaign benchmarking in MailChimp. For more information, check out our guides and tutorials.